gals. 6 a.m. We're here at Staunton State Park. Today we will be going for Elk Falls. See y'all out there on the trail. We are on Staunton Ranch Trail right now. Been hiking this for a couple of minutes, maybe about 10 minutes. Sun is starting to come up. We are gonna take the Marmet Passage Trail on the way to the pond and then up to the falls. And then we'll probably take Boogling Elk Trail on the way back. Trails out here are pretty wide and good condition. Uh, great trail for social distancing. Unlike some other trails that I've seen these past couple of weeks that are very narrow and condensed. giant boulders out here. We're walking into a forest right now. Looks like there's a lot more snow, but it's all good. It's very pretty. There's some pretty dope light out this morning. chilly out this morning not too bad for a fine spring day probably about 30 degrees right now the wind is non-existent down here but there are a lot of trees sun's starting to shed its first light on the forest up there So we just passed the sign that said we were on the Bugling Elk Trail. Must have missed a turn somewhere. Don't know how that happened. When you get to this point of the trail, You'll see a open field and you'll see two tire marks going straight. Do not go that way. It's not part of the trail. Going to hang a left 
This is the way you want to go to Elk Falls Pond. If you look out into this field over the over to the right, you'll see an old some kind of thing with two wheels, a hay roller, hay, hay something, hay stacker, hay rake. You'll see a hay rake. And Uh, um, it makes it easier if you have a baler because then your baler just goes over the row and makes the hay into a neat little bale. But if you're like my family, you rake it into the into the row and then you turn it all over by hand because it has to dry before you put it in the barn. Otherwise, it'll get moldy and the cows can't eat it. So yeah, once you see that hay rake, <laughs> take this way. Um, just got some knowledge on the hay rake for those that wanted to know. So yeah, as soon as you pass the hay rake, you know you're on the right trail. <laughs> We are walking up on Elk Falls Pond. Looks to be completely snow covered. Not sure how frozen it is. The stream right next to us is partially frozen. So I'm guessing probably pretty much the top layer of the lake is frozen, which means Elk Falls, the waterfall is probably pretty much frozen but that's to be expected this time of year. We shall see soon enough. We are here at Elk Falls Pond. Not much movement going on down there. There's a frozen sheet of ice. We also would dunk the camera down there. We are here at the trail junction. We will be taking Chimney Rock to Elk Falls Trail. Trail's a little um, slippery. I'm gonna put on my micro spikes because I'm very clumsy. Got the micro spikes on now. Got that crunchy walk sound, but at least now I can walk a little more carelessly, not worrying about slipping and falling, and most importantly, damaging my camera gear. Fresh snow was very sparkly with the sun hitting it. Here we are at Chimney Rock Trail Junction. Elk Falls Overlook, 1.1 miles this way. But we wanna check out the falls. We may do the overlook if we're feeling 
like it, but we'll see. Not much of a trail back here. Luckily, I've been here a few times where I could just follow that sign right there. Elk Falls halfway point. I hear water. That's a good sign. Definitely hear water. I can't wait to get out my life straw and taste some pristine, ice cold Elk Falls, Colorado water. Lots of little switchbacks on the way down to the waterfall. It's the longest point three, five miles I've ever walked in my life. All right, here we are guys, Elk Falls. We'll get up a little closer here. Gotta do a little boulder hopping to get up close and personal with Elk Falls, but nothing too bad. a little teeny well probably about a 15 foot section coming unfrozen just poking out pretty cool though really flowing down there. Nailed it. So I'm down here, right below the overlook of the waterfall. Um, just gotta climb back up that thing right there. It's about six feet, not too bad. Let's check this out. alternate route through the hole. Very nice. Well done. Thanks. Overall distance to the falls is about 5.4 miles according to all trails. We got here in just a little over two hours. Made a couple of stops to take some pictures. Really want to come back in about a month once these waterfall once this waterfall starts to open up it's really pretty once it does I don't think we're gonna do the overlook today just because the over the pull point of the waterfalls overlook is to see the waterfall and there's not much open not much moving that we'd be able to see from the overlook but 
overall this is a pretty good hike to get out stretch your legs nothing too challenging it's a little bit of elevation gain on the way back up from the falls oh yeah the chain the chain here for uh assistance on this little i don't know what you call it it's not really a pitch or anything but it's there if you need it just a heads up when hiking this trail um, the way to the waterfall is pretty much all downhill. On your way back to the trailhead parking lot, you're pretty much going to be steadily rising in elevation gain. Kind of another one of those backwards trails like the Beaver Brook Trail was. Nothing too crazy though. Haven't even gotten out of breath yet. Here's the Marmot Passage Trail. Originally my plan was to take this here and take the Bugling Elk Trail back. It's about 9 a.m. right now and we're seeing quite a bit of people on the trail today. So we decided we're just gonna take the Bugling Elk Trail back because it's pretty wide and it's very easy to stay away from people on this trail. The Marmot Passage is just a bunch of switchbacks. It's pretty narrow. Uh, just saw a mountain biker on there. So this trail will be much better for social distancing distancing purposes. <laughs> Stunt State Park, Elk Falls Trail. About five and a half miles there. It's a great hike. I've done it about two or three times. It's beautiful in the summer. In about a month or two, it should be wide open, just roaring. This is a great trail, great state park. If you just like stretching your legs, if you like birding, mountain biking, trail running, it offers a bunch of great features. It's close to Denver. Highly recommend Staunton State Park. But right now, we're about halfway into Bugling Trail and we need to head back to the parking lot and get on home back and get on home. One more thing, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that like button. If you've been to Staunton State Park before, leave a comment below. If you like the videos I make, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be updated whenever I upload new content. Until next hike, until the next hike, catch y'all around.